International Association of Puppetry. Today, we are celebrating this great event between professors, artists, students, researchers, and theater puppetry. My name is Fabiana Lazar. My name is Fabiana Lazaris. I'm a professor at the theater course at Odeski, and I also organized the three, third provocation, the International Meeting on Puppetry. And in this edition, we will have the topic puppetry and the diversity in contemporary puppetry. The third provocation is organized and executed by the tr professional training of UNIMA and the extension program for in, in theater, in Santa Catarina's theater, Udeski, financed by CNPQ and ACAPS through support in events throughout the country by EPI. And before we start to the, the event, I would like to thank you for your presence. The presence of the Th Catarinense Theater Director President He's here with us, and now we call on Professor Paulo Baradin, the general coordinator of the event provocation, to give you a warm welcome in this extension program in the training program of Santa Catarina's uh, theater. I had prepared a 10-page uh, lecture, actually, but I thought it was going to be too much, so I decided not to do it. Anyway, I will have to read for two reasons. First of all, because it's difficult to improvise in this rush. We try, but it's hard sometimes. And then, well, I forgot the second reason, but okay. I would just like to verify something first. Who the ones that are actually uh, listening to the translation, can you, can you hear me well? Perfect. So, this meeting like this in Florianópolis is a, a unique opportunity for us to gather people who really think, reflect, produce the art of puppetry in the entire world. It's a unique event and it's extremely important to discuss puppetry that actually breaks barriers between languages and every day it surprises us with new perspectives of the world. And in this panorama, puppetry, it's an art that is essentially hybrid, multidisciplinary, subversive, it is key to creating new realities and to reflect on human nature and life in society. Therefore, it's with an immense pleasure and on behalf of the organizing committee here in Florianópolis, Irina Nicolescu, Fabiana Lazarus, Viviana Perez, and myself, we would like to thank you, especially the financiers, CAPES and CNPQ, and to the supporters that we had, we had a number of, of them, Aviama, uh, the International Association of Puppet Friendly Cities, uh, the University of Montreal Be in Beijing, China as well, the government of the state of Santa Catarina, Florianópolis City Hall, SESC SC Santa Catarina, municipal professors from SEARCHI that have engaged in this project and have donated uh, some uh, grants as well. The chief of department, Diane Dordetsch, and director of extension, Unique van der Zeng, which is director of research, Teresa Franzoni, professor as well, Brigida. I would also like to thank you the production teams, the support teams, technicals and servers who have collaborated with the production and the execution of this event. I would also like to thank the professors who are part of our scientific committee, professors and students and artists who are exhibiting 
their projects here in, in their banners and giving us this gift of this, their presentation. Another important thing that I want to emphasize is the presence of, in this meeting, is the, there's a rep, there are representative, representatives of over 10 countries, 20 countries, perhaps even more than 25 countries. Among them, I'll be mentioning them because I'm, I'm not even sure how many countries are actually present here. But among them, Russia, Senegal, Russia, anyone from Russia? Senegal, Argentina, Chile, very well, Romania, Poland, Canada, France, Italy, Israel, Bulgaria, England, Holland, Singapore, Japan, Colombia, Cuba, China, Brazil, Spain, any other countries I haven't mentioned? United States, all right. And of course we'll be getting to know other countries throughout the event and we have over 20 Brazilian institutes represented in here and foreign institutes, universities. Among them, I won't be able to mention all of them, but I'll mention some. UFSC, UNIRIO, USP, UNESP, UFU, UFRN, UFMA, IFBA, IFSC, UFSN. For the foreigners, this must be a different language perhaps almost a Bulgarian language for us Brazilians, but still. URGS, Universidade Tecnológica Federal do Paraná, UFG, FAP, UEL, UFPE, UFRJ, UDESC, Université de Valéry, Academia de Teatro de Varsovia, Association de Arrama e outras, entre outras, uh, and among others. Thank you very much for all your presence and support. And a special thank you to all the students and volunteers who are helping the production of this event because their participation is essential for this to happen. Practically, they are practically present in everything you're see, that you're seeing around here. And this is extremely important for their training. It's a theatrical production training, and it's essential for this event to occur. So a very warm welcome to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. We now invite the president of the training, professional training committee, Tito Lorefis to give a welcome to the participants. Thank you. Uh, there is no translation uh, from Spanish to English, but we can try. And I'm going to speak in a mix of Portuguese and English. Well, we want to add to the words of uh, Paul of uh, thanking, but also I would like to, to say that in this moment of happiness, this feeling that is shared with other uh, feelings of great sadness. First, I will mention the, fir the joy. This, this moment that we are so happy, it comes with uh, a pain. But we are going to mention first the good things. Thank you. The good things. <laughs> the, the good things are related to, to, 
to the reason that we are here together, it's the union. It's the meeting of heart to heart and interchange of knowledge, experiences, and uh, life paths from different countries. The good things are related to be together, to be together in the meetings, the meetings of idea, of knowledge, of places from four, four sides of the world. The art that convocates us and gathers us it's the art of uh, reunion, the magic to put life in things that don't have life. So that's why it's something related to the heart of the woman being and the, the understanding of our time. The art that gets us together, that that's the one who has the magic that gives life to something that doesn't have life and it goes through the heart. I would like to, to to talk about UNIMA. UNIMA is international uh, reunion of uh, puppets. It's the, the worldwide institution, the most ancient one that t t this year uh, completes 90 years. It's important to mention UNIMA because that's uh, the organization that brought us here is the the oldest theater organization that we have in the in the world completing 90 years and inside UNIMA you have different commissions and one of them is the the professional commission and in, information is the one that adds to the organization to this meeting UNIMA works by commissions the commission of formation is the one that uh, organizes this meeting. And the uh, integrants are from different countries, uh, like Irina Nicolescu, Paulo Ballardin, uh, from Udesk as well, Marca Dan, Malek Vel I'm not going to mention all the names. People from China, people, people from other places. And our main task is to provoke these meetings. There, there, for a long time, we have been talking with Elina Nicolescu about her idea of starting these projects and to make them uh, pass all over the world to to meet to make meetings and after 20 years the the title uh, remembers a, a chat with Margaret and Nicolescu and this chat this talk they talk it was possible to create a meeting made of, uh, that would travel from country to country We have two stories. He, when he was a young person, a student, he would uh, talk to Margaret. And years after with Irina, they remember this, and then they had the des decision to create this event. And that's going on with Irina's idea. We started with these meetings. The first one was Chacreville in 2015. And afterwards, we have another one to trying to be near. We made it in Romania, Targovski. And the third one, we started to think with Paulo and Nini to, to bring to Latin America. And that's why we are here. The dream has become reality. The first uh, meeting was in France, the second one in Romania, and then we have the idea to bring this to America and finally we are here in Brazil. And that's why that's I wanted to make a special thanks first of them for people who have been uh, who have been from different and faraway countries. Second one to desk, second, third one to the 
research program uh, here and I would like to make a special thanks to Paulo Ballardin and all the, the things all the the team and the students that have made this possible because otherwise we wouldn't be able to be here and do that as well I would like to thank especially Anivoli which is she's not here she's abroad but she's going to be present with uh, us by Skype chat I would like to say as well now something that is related to to a great sadness now it's the the moment to talk about the bad things we are not in a situation where we could be completely ra happy because the Brazil and Argentina countries are cutting up all the time in the last times they are cutting the the money invested in culture education artistic formation creative uh, activities and human rights in from these continents we are not so happy today because in Argentina and Brazil as well the government is cutting all the money related to culture research from the public universities as well and we can't be happy this way I would like to put as an example what happens with the program uh, of research, research, with the program of CNPQ CAPS in Brazil, which are the programs that uh, uh, support. Uh, they they give the economical support to things like this to happen. This this money this investment has been cut. That's the worst example we have. And this transmission is being uh, watched by YouTube channel all, all over the world. And all over the, wor the world, people should know that these things are happening here. We have to socialize this information and, and be uh, strong as our students are outside <laughs> protesting. But, and we can socialize this communication because we are fighting for life for animated arts we want we want to get people together to build life to open the mindsets of people and the last uh, policies they go for the domination and they they go for uh, preventing thinking and uh, preventing creation we want art that liberates and open other people's minds i think it's our du duty to make the, this communication, to communicate what happens here in the country, because our uh, work in art is the work to open the hearts, to help people think, to create these channels, the communication channels, to creativity, to go beyond, to, ha to create empathy for everyone. And uh, to continue, I don't think we have so many time. I would like to, to ask Irina if she wants to add something or anything. We have so many issues and thanks, thanks to Irina. Se você quiser dizer algo a respeito da ideia do encontro. Eu também gostaria de dizer a, oi a todos. Eu estou muito tocada que tem tantas pessoas aqui. Eu sei, eu conheço que o que o Paulo pensa. Ele trabalhou tão duro para... E a gente uh, trabalhou duro com o Paulo para fazer o programa. Estamos trabalhando há um ano e meio antes de começar a, pro a produzi-lo aqui. 
eu estou muito impressionada com, com a ajuda generosa, tanto financeira como logística, que foi trazida pelo DESC e pelos, pelas diferentes organizações brasileiras que ajudaram-nos a trazer tantas participantes no, no programa aqui. É realmente é um luxo, luxuoso, é um, é um encontro luxuoso que nós temos aqui. E agora, e estamos também muito impressionadas que tantas pessoas vieram, às vezes se pagando por isso, porque elas estão interessadas na arte, elas sentem a necessidade, certamente, de partilhar, de aprender, de partilhar os seus pontos de vista e entrar em contato com o mundo, com uma, toda uma rede de, de uh, marionetes e, e bonecos que existem. E agora eu gostaria de dizer como a ideia dessas conferências nasceram. Desde que eu comecei, muitos anos atrás, eu vou falar depois, quando eu ler o minha, meu discurso mais adiante, o teatro de bonecos, o teatro de, em especial, mas em geral, mas os, o, o boneco, teatro de bonecos mudou muitas vezes. Sendo a minha profissão como diretora, mas uma professora mais, mais do que tudo, a minha experiência em muitas diferentes universidades do mundo e programas alternativos e as minhas próprias perguntas, como, as minhas questões como, direto, como diretora, me fez pensar o que estamos ensinando hoje. Desde que, nos últimos anos, o teatro de bonecos ou de marionetes, ele... ele ele tem uma diversidade muito rica. E quando temos um grupo de alunos na frente de vocês, quem quer estudar teatro e teatro de, de marionetes, de bonecos, vocês não sabem que tipo de teatro eles fazem, o, o que meios eles têm. Eles têm, são interessados em teatro de animação. O, que a, gente, o que, que a gente chama de teatro de animação hoje? Como chamamos esse teatro hoje? E esse tipo de questões me fizeram propor à nossa comissão de trazer o nosso mundo do teatro de animação aqui, mas, ao mesmo tempo, trazer para artistas e práticos que, art que ensinam os artistas as nossas questões e, e vamos compartilhar os nossos desafios e as nossas questões, os nossos problemas. A primeira coisa que foi colocada em 2015 é dev devotada ao tema o que, que é o teatro de animação hoje, com, o que chamamos hoje, como ele se configura, é claro que nós não encontramos a resposta ainda, porque não existe uma resposta única, tem várias respostas. E vocês sabem disso porque vocês estão inventando isso como forma de, vi como uma forma de viver, ou vocês estão sobrevivendo disso e vocês fazem isso muito bem. E o segundo encontro, o que qual seria a metodologia de treinamento e, mais uma vez, quais seriam as metodologias, no plural, de treinamento em universidades, em, em formas alternativas de, de treinamento? Quais são as, os nossos filósofos de, de ensino, mas também qual a nossa filosofia, mas eu também gostaria de abordar o, o, o tema de dire, da direção, de dirigir. A maior parte dos programas de teatro, eles não a ensinam diretamente. Em muitas universidades, eles ensinam direção, mas eu acho que, que, a, que a direção 
e o que a gente chama de artes cênicas, que não é a, a dramaturgia das peças, é uma dramaturgia de um show, de uma apresentação, seriam os maiores problemas do teatro contemporâneo, porque é tão novo. Como nós definimos os pontos uh, que guiam essas atividades com, para o aluno? É tudo o que eu gostaria de dizer. Eu vou dizer mais na minha, na minha fala. No meu, no meu discurso escrito, que eu vou ler mais tarde, é porque o Paulo me, me pediu para escrever uma conferência, então eu vou, eu vou ter que ler, porque eu escrevi, e eu, gost, eu realmente é, gostaria de dizer que temos uma troca muito rica nesse encontro. Então, eu gostaria de dizer que nós temos agora a próxima reunião e, de, e depois a primeira será na, em francês. Não, a primeira, desculpe, a primeira conferência foi na França, a segunda foi na Europa do Leste e a terceira é aqui. E nós estamos pensando em fazer a próxima na Ásia, na China, na Academia de Beijing e o próximo ainda em dois anos, a partir daqui, na África. Que essa é a nossa ideia de fazer um programa em cada, cada região. E para terminar, só para dizer que no, em nome do professor e das, das comissões, eu também gostaria de expressar gratidão a todos e mencionar que nós, a nossa solidariedade com todas as demandas dos, dos alunos e dos professores dessa universidade. Muito obrigada. Invite the research director, Monique Vandressen, from the Performing Arts Center of UDESC, and on behalf of our dean, Marcos Tomasi, and the professor director, general professor director of the Performing Arts, Maria Cristina da Rosa Fonseca da Silva, and to officially open this huge event for the Performing Arts. University of Santa Catarina. Good afternoon and welcome. And on behalf of the Dean and our university, we would like you to feel at home by participating in our provocation event in puppetry with, like what Professor said, it's a bit bittersweet. It's sweet to have you all here present from all of your countries and all these institutions. They come together, but it's a bit bitter because we are in the midst of these political and economic times, which are difficult. Nonetheless, we would l like for you to have this opportunity to have this uh, exchange, these experiences with our students and participate in our manifestations. And my role today is to talk about this situation and to use this political space that's being viewed throughout the world in honor of our cause. I'll anchor myself in two texts to help me speak. Otherwise, Paulo wasn't even able to print these because everything was so rushed today. But I would like to talk, start with a text with a writer, professor of Brazilian called Alfredo Gozzi. And he talks about the following. It's a document from 1999. It states that it's it's essential to remember that the public universities, universities of Brazil and Argentina as well and all throughout the world, it's not an utopia, but a reality that's very hardly fought to be built through our generations. It's a heritage of our nation to be preserved with caution, a true university and we've been thinking about this a lot lately, the, I, what's the idea of a university? So this event, all of these institutions, presence, we can exchange experiences and ideas regarding puppetry, all of these countries, these languages, I think it helps us to think about this university and actually to feel a little more relieved after a few 
difficult days, what is this university that we would like to have, that we would like to strive for? A true university, it takes decades to be built. A, a misbehaved reform can be destroyed in very little time. My family is a second generation of people who have graduated at public universities and most professors, in most cases actually, there is little, There we have a very short time in university here in Brazil. We take longer than other countries in Latin America to have uh, superior institution qualities. So this moment is actually very important to us. And regarding our manifestation, you probably saw some of our students outside there are probably going to be more riots later on throughout these five days. And we are manifesting after a lot of announcements regarding cuts and, and from the public with the ed education ministry in the G Bolsonaro government. And it, these cuts actually affect all, all stages of schooling, from childhood schooling to superior to adult schooling. And so these grants are important because we need to build more schools to offer more grants for researches and also transportation. This whole blockage of these expenses from MEC, the our national uh, education ministry, they have been allocated 7.4 billion reais. And federal universities, they reach 2.2 two billion, which represents 30% of the grants, of discretionary grants. It's a grant that doesn't include the salary of professors. So it's a very serious, grave situation. And it, if you try to look at all of these institutions' point of view, they're all doing something, Brazilian institutions and, and, uh, and others. It's a very complicated moment that we're facing right now. And in the past few years, we've been seeing this extreme right-wing, uh, reactionary, and authoritative, and fascist, fascist in ascension th in, the, in the entire world. These are the, the exceptions and not the rule, actually, today, where, we ha where these types of movements are not happening. So once again, it's important in events such as these that we discuss art, this f of a way of doing things differently to call attention and to fight for something. And so now I'll use uh, talk about another text, which is a lecture from Camille when he received the Nobel Prize. He said that we have to develop an art uh, uh, of living in these cat catastrophic moments to be reborn a second time and to strive against the death instinct. instinct. It's different to talk about this f for a a theater public, but and to finalize, whatever our weaknesses, personal weaknesses may be, the nobility of our task, I think, and you think your task here is puppetry, to always have roots in two commitments, to refuse to maintain something that we know, and the resistance against oppression. So thank you very much for being here. And if possible, if you could join our fight in social media, hashtags, even if you don't speak Portuguese, whatever you can do to help to call attention to this fight, because it's extremely important. It's a huge fight. And we at Udeski would like to thank you for that. Thank you. And before I finalize the ceremony, I would like to thank you, Professor Valmor Beltrano, who's not here today. But he has, he collaborated. He is our master here in Brazil together with Ana Maria Amaral, who is in Sao Paulo right now. She's not present at the moment, but Udeski and the Puppetry Theater, he's the one act who actually brought, I actually started working with Puppetry and Shadow Theater with him, so I'm very thankful to him for all of what he was able to offer us. Thank you. To finalize this opening event, I would like to emphasize some notifications. 
you need to have your credentials that are done outside if those of you who don't have your credentials yet every day participants need to sign the presence sheet in the entrance of the auditorium with our monitors who are wearing our provocation t-shirts and if if you're going to be following on activities here or outside the hall, always wear your badges throughout the event so you can identify yourselves. If, if, if even if you want to use the discount for for restaurants and so forth here in the in the university, and now we have a we want to show you a showing of Teatro Lambi Lambi here in Brazil, which use research and use the language, and they will be presenting in vi during various slots throughout Siachi. Every day, from 9 to 10, from tomorrow onwards, there will be an exhibition of the research banners here in the hall. Some of you may have seen these uh, exhibits, some of these exhibits already with presence of researchers and presenters who will be available to talk to you about their work. And we also would like to remind you that conferences are being transmitted live through our YouTube channel, slash provocation And our, we are also on uh, uh, social media, Instagram, Facebook, follow us, like us, have lots of fun, and please share. When we write the notifications, it's a rush, so we actually f mentioned, forgot to mention something very important, which is regarding, where is it now? the presentation of the creative process that would be happening at 5.30 p.m. from India. She had her ticket or which purchased her hotel was booked, everything was planned, but unfortunately she wasn't able to board the plane in New Delhi because she needed a visa transit by going through Frankfurt. So unfortunately, she won't be able to be here with us today, neither her nor Regina Pandey, which was planned for today. So what we're going to do is, after the presentation of Patricia Gomes regarding creative process, we will have a bigger uh, break so we can talk about it amongst ourselves and to meet with people. Thank you, Paolo. And now, will start the program of the third provocation 2019. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great event in in behalf of our education and culture in Brazil and the world. We officially open the third provocation. <laughs>